Well, you still watching Midday Live. A very good afternoon to you. My name is Nana Ikuasare. This afternoon, we're still talking about our own Ghana city having depreciated being the highest depreciation since 10 years ago. So we'll be speaking with financial analyst John Gatti shortly, but let's look at what we gathered from the MPC meeting yesterday. The Bank of Ghana says the city depreciated by more than 17% for the first quarter of 2014, and this is the highest depreciation in 10 years. Now, the impact of the measures introduced by the bank to salvage the situation, Governor Wampa says are not satisfactory. The Bank of Ghana has therefore introduced increments in the bank reserves from 9% to 11% as a new measure to save the city. The imbalances in the fiscal and external sectors, together with continued uncertainties in the external economic environment, exerted significant pressure on the domestic currency in the first quarter. The local currency therefore depreciated by 17.6% against the US dollar during the first quarter of 2014, compared with 1.1% depreciation in the corresponding period of 2013. The de-dollarization as a measure to salvage the depreciating city, Governor Wampa said, has not been satisfactory. He warns government will have to strictly adhere to the 2014 budget for macroeconomic stability. This strict adherence to the 2014 budgetary estimates is critical for macroeconomic stability. Reining in the deficit should therefore be a priority as this will not only create space for development spending but also reduce borrowing and pressure and the pressure on interest rates. Current crisis in the energy sector is also expected to affect the macroeconomic stability. As a result, the bank has decided to maintain the policy rate at 18% and increase bank reserves from 9% to 11 To address the liquidity overhang, which was observed by the common 9%, while the net open positions limits of banks have been revised downwards, the single currency NOP, that is the net open position, has been reduced from 10% to 5%. Inflation drop is also not expected to come up to single digits until mid-2015. In assessing the outlook for inflation, the committee noted that inflation pressures have heightened, driven by periodic increases in fuel and utility prices, currency depreciation, and supply demand gaps in the general economy. Well, more evident in terms of figures on the interbank market today, the CD continued to remain volatile against all four major trading currencies. And as was expected yesterday, also depreciated, losing value against all its four major trading currencies. Just trying to figure out how it fed against the dollar on the interbank market. But let's just look at the euro, bring you the dollar later. Traded at three Ghana cities, 7135 pesos for the buying price with a selling price of three Ghana cities, 7167 for its buying price. Well, selling price. Now, looking at the city against the dollar on the interbank market, definitely differing from one bank to the other. Two Ghana cities, 6983 pesos for the buying price, and a two Ghana cities, 7009 for its selling price. So, this in terms of figures shows that the Ghana city continues to depreciate. And the Bank of Ghana has confirmed this. Joining us this afternoon to give us exactly what this figure is translate in in terms of normal business language john gachi is a financial analyst and he joins us on midday live this afternoon good afternoon to you mr gachi and thanks for joining us good afternoon now per the mpc meeting yesterday 17 percent for the first quarter of 2014 this is the highest depreciation recorded in 10 years what does this imply well it, uh uh, it implies that uh, the value of our currency with respect to especially the dollar mm. uh, continue to be uh, weak and that has uh, implication for a lot of things uh, in the country. It has implication for prices, 
of goods and services because we are largely import-led economy. Mm. It has implication for productive activity. Uh, it has implication for the build-up of inflation. And mind you, it also has some positive implication for revenue mobilization, especially in terms of uh, uh, increases in revenue as a result of increase in import duties because of the element of uh, depreciation. Uh, but uh, another implication is that uh, uh, it means that in 2014, there were some factors uh, that has contributed to the depreciation uh, uh, which we need to look at. Of course, they have looked at those things. Right. Uh, it also means that the framework within which the economy was operating early part of this year is totally different from uh, to, uh, the same period in 2000. And, and 13. So that is the, the, the implication. Okay. Of, uh, now, Mr. Gachi, does that mean that it resulted in maintaining the policy rate still at 18%? Of course, other factors come to play, but is the C the key reason why the policy rate was maintained? I think we need to interpret the statement of Bank of Ghana very well. Bank okay. of Ghana was just giving a review mm. of the economy over uh, the period. But uh, you will realize that uh, they have already given us a, an announcement of their position on the uh, policy rate earlier. All those things have been uh, factored they into are factors, the policy right. rate. But they were only given uh, an indication as to what happened in terms of uh, exchange rate. But it does not mean that that 17% exchange rate volatility is what made them to give uh, the 18 uh, and the policy rate uh, yesterday. That is mm. not what it means. Now, Ms. Agachi, you would also recollect quite shortly um, Dr. Balmia came out with some lecture that the measures put in place by the Bank of Ghana was not in the right position, but still the bank sticks to it that the measures are there. Coming in with another measure, is that the way out to save the city? Uh, well, I think that uh, uh, Ghana is so rich uh, that we have uh, a lot of people who have the ability to comment on the economy. Uh, but at the same time, we have also handed over the management of the economy to some group of people. Uh, while we listen to others, we must also keenly listen to those who are actually managing the economy. Uh, we need to get their view. And mm. in the view of Bank of Ghana, uh, Bank of Ghana thinks that those measures are good and they are working in the interest of the economy. And the Bank of Ghana thinks that uh, those measures ought to be augmented with other measures that they have in the pipeline of measures to be implemented to uh, to protect the, the, the economy. So they have brought in those uh, measures again. Uh, so long as they are uh, doing that in the interest of the economy, uh, we need to allow Bank of Ghana to have some space uh, to measure uh, the policy feedback and to see whether there will be remedial measures going forward. I think that is the allowance we need to give to Bank of Ghana now. Mm. Then it means that with a new measure put in place by the Bank of Ghana, that is increasing the bank reserves from 9% to 11%. What are we looking at? Uh, we are try uh, <laughs> I think the Bank of Ghana is trying to look at the controlling uh, uh, issues of liquidity uh, because Bank of Ghana has realized that in order to ensure price stability, you need to control uh, exchange rate volatility. <laughs> At the same time, they need to control uh, in inflation. Right. Uh, so, so it, 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 you need to look at the two-tier approach to the problem. So that's why issues of uh, controlling exchange rate volatility were largely dealt with. And that this particular measure is trying to deal with the issue of inflation by okay. trying to control uh, uh, liquidity in hands of the commercial bank. Of course. Some commercial banks may complain because it will affect their lending yeah, activities. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the purpose is to control a money supply, it's to, it's to control liquidity. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Gachi, for your time this afternoon on Midday Live. John Gachi is a financial analyst giving us the implications of uh, the Ghana City depreciating by more than 17% for the first quarter of 2014 and this being the highest depreciation in 
10 years. We'll be bringing you more updates as and when they're coming on the city. But we move away now from the currencies to tourism. And the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts has declared 2014 as a year of tourism. Now the Minister Elizabeth Ufusuejari made this declaration at the launch of Explore Ghana, a domestic tourism promotion initiative aimed at encouraging mainstream tourism. The tourism industry is the fourth highest contributor to Ghana's GDP. In 2013, the tourism industry contributed 4.7% to Ghana's GDP, earning the nation some $1.9 billion and employing about 319,000 people. The Minister of Tourism, Elizabeth Fosuejari, stressed that the country stands a chance of reaping more socio-economical benefits by reinforcing domestic tourism. Measures have thus been put in place to make a majority of Ghana's tourist sites accessible. The full Fuso Dam and Go Road in the northern region is being reconstructed into a first class road to link northern and upper west region through Dam and Go. Travel to Mole National Park will therefore be greatly enhanced when the project is completed. Similarly, the construction of the Eastern Corridor Road will facilitate travel to the mid Volta region where Tafi Atome, Monkey Sanctuary and the Tagbo Waterfalls are located. The tourism sector has lined up a series of events to boost internal tourism. The Ghana Tourism Authority is reviving the public holiday recreational programs in all the 10 regions of Ghana. Very soon, GTA will organize the La Pleasure Beat Meet Me There, the Kumasi Jiweni at the Center for National Culture, Kumasi, and the holidays activities at Takwadi Beach and the Tano Chrome in Sunyani, my hometown, when the Sunyani Theater is completed. It is estimated that by 2027, Ghana will be receiving some $8.3 billion from the tourism industry.